Hey, Leo, you guys are next for a super blood, full super blood moon read. I think it's in Scorpio. I think it's in Scorpio. Yes, it is. Scorpio to Sagittarius. And it starts tomorrow, 15th. I think it's 15th to the 16th. So if you're in the energy of this, trust me, you can feel it. Oh, so let's pray. Great creator, Father God, divine mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom, clarity, and protection for any messages need to come through the collective sign of Leo for this their cool super blood moon in Scorpio. Jesus name, amen. One more. Your knowledge deck, one off the top, one off the bottom. And then your knowledge of manifestations. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. And off the bottom. Fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. So. Uh, you have a cycle too. Started the previous new moon. And this full moon. It's going to, I feel like this, this moon is a shift everything it's like arranging the puzzle pieces or arranging the chess pieces on the board the right way it's a lot of purging a lot of stuff coming to the surface and i went to pro terror without doing this one see what i mean so let's go to the neurology manifestation deck first One off the top, one off the bottom. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. We got two more. Go for it, new moon in Aries is hidden behind. I assess, 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 assess the situation. First quarter moon in Virgo. And then one off the bottom. So take a minute, kind of look. Full moon in Libra, find a balance. So that's the thing. If you walk into this thinking one way and it's actually another way, this whole thing is going to be blown out of proportion. So let's go to the Crow Terror now. One more shuffle. If I can shuffle them. Okay, Six of Cups. Someone's coming back, Queen of Swords. And you are being asked to stand in your power. Wheel of Fortune, good luck. It's your judgment call. Page of Cups, really, but find this creative balance of this. I feel like you kind of wanted to manifest this. Like I feel like you were doing it subconsciously. Kind of feel like you were. Star card. Star card keeps coming out, bringing energy. And you're not telling people about this. Star card is about healing, it's about getting recognition, um, temperance, it's patience, eight of wands, incoming messages, one more. And there's another message card. So, but I feel like this is what's going to happen. They're going to send you a lot of messages. You're going to reply short, sweet, to the point. I feel like that's what you're going to do. Star card, too, is someone that got your attention. I've never seen it that way. And you didn't say anything to them or anybody else. It's like they disappeared and they came back. And here's your second chance with this. And it's really calling for patience. There's a lot of like incoming messages from them. The way you're going to handle it though is just going to be like one little quick little message. And it's not going to say everything you wanted to say. There's another six, six of pentacles. It's a reconnection. 
Seven of Wands clearing the decks to make room for them. Queen of Cups. Ow. There's Piscean energy. I feel like you really have feelings for this person. Yep, there's Lover's card. Can't make it up if I try. Gemini energy, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. I feel like this was one of those things of love at first sight, and then they disappeared. You didn't know what the hell happened. And then they appeared again. The Lover's card's about choice. I feel like you're... The Page of Pentacles is assessing the situation is really about studying the situation, being a student of it, and then rushing in with communication at the right time. Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of backstabbing, betrayal. I feel like this was a lie, though. Someone told a lie that made one side or the other believe that the other person didn't want to speak to them or had done something really bad. Queen of Pentacles, though, is receiving. It's divine feminine of perception. It's receiving. Um, Pentacle is attention. It's communication. It's much more than money. Knight of Pentacles, it's been a long time coming. That was slow movement. But I feel like you're going to be finding out the truth and receiving the truth from this. Like they have a lot to say. You have a lot to say to them. So the swords, uh, cups, some of cups. Okay. This is the second time this is pulled up like this. Two of swords should be here. Like it's weird energy. Like it's very strange. It's like two of swords shows up and and it's like you're, that's how it's coming across. Like you're writing a line in a book and it says at the crossroads, they can either go this direction or that direction. This is the way it keeps coming out. Like it's a line that you're reading in a book. But if you're gonna read it this way, you read it this way. At the crossroads, they can either go and stay in the past. And I feel like that's regret or they can take this step and fight through the confusion to get to the truth of what had happened here. So fighting through the confusion is really being receptive to hearing what they have to say and giving them the truth as well and rushing in to talk and explaining your side of it. So you can stay in this regret or you can take that step forward. Two more. Yeah, see, there's the new beginning showing up for you because you're not happy. You're just not happy in the situation you're in. You're just, this is discontentment. It could be better and you know it could be better. There's wish fulfillment because you're manifesting the return of this person. Absolutely. So for the collective sign of Leo, this is your full super blood moon in Scorpio read. Jesus name, amen. I keep wanting to say that after the end of every video. Well, Love and light.